What's up, guys? Uh, it's Anthony. Cyrum is back. And um, someone make a comment on me to make a video. Um, can you please make a comparison of the uh, DHgate pairs that you bought from a different seller? And he uh, gave me that idea to make the video. And yeah, I mean, he gave me that idea. So I appreciate it. And I've been wanting to do this video for a while. Uh, just no half time. So right now, no editing, you know, like no intro, no editing. Because I want you guys to focus on the video that, you know, the shoot itself. And um, also um, the details and everything like that. that uh, these are both size 10, by the way. I just want to show you the size first before we start the video of both beautiful shoes. Right, I'll show you the size. The first one, the breads. Uh, the sizing tag over there is 10. Right there. There's a sticker. Size 10. I already wore it to see a little dirt. Not the insole. Uh, this one is still brand new. Factory lace. Uh, this one is size 10. You guess I'm wondering where the shoe horn is. It's over there in the left side corner. Because I want to do a comparison I mean, clean, clean comparison. Like for example, when I press these, right? See, the tub of leather for both shoes. But before we begin, um, if you guys gonna make a comment, uh, what's the seller's name? Please, I'm not gonna tell the seller's name on my video because uh, first off, they're not, you know, I'm not getting promoted by the sellers. You know, unlike the other, uh, prep, uh, replica reviewers when they promote the seller uh, pretty much the seller send them as a gift you know when they're reviewing their shoes if you know one of the sellers uh, want to send me you know a gift uh, shoes for make a content of the of their shoes or their product um, you can hit me up on my instagram and you will see it on my uh, youtube name it's anthony Siron. It's the same name on my Instagram. Uh, you can just uh, you know follow me and yeah, or you can message me. You know we'll make work something out to promote your products because you know like I love. I mean for me, I'll buy what I like. You know it's kind of like my um, hobby, and it's also for educational purposes only. And you know I'm using my own money for this, and yeah. And also, you know, buy what you like, you know, like, hey, there's nothing wrong with it as long as you're not hurting anyone, you know. Yeah, and just focus on the content and focus the item that you're reviewing. All right, guys? All right, thank you. And yeah, no editing. All right, let's go to the comparison. Um, these two shoes are came from a different seller. I mean, I'm not going to name which the HK sellers and I see some difference right right away in the shoe and yeah um, let's get this guy the right side let's compare the the shape of the shoes all right that's the first thing I noticed right away of the bat you guys can see the uh, the anchor collar see how that straight right like I mean there's a, a little curve it's still straight when you go in the back. It's supposed to be a little uh, tilt, you know, like this. Tilt like that, right? But like the same, I mean, for the Royal Blues, you, you see that little tilt, that little bump. See that? It curves and goes in the back. There's a little bit, a little, a little bit of tilt. So when I turn these around, you know, that's supposed to be the curve that I need to see on the Jordan ones and also the hourglass shape you know and when I look at my breads um, I'm noticing um, you know the back it's so up it, you know he's, he got the the rounded curve but it's too up you know unlike the Royals the Royals are supposed to be you know that's the shape see that it's so different you, you already noticed right there see how deep is that this one is so high and also the uh, the height of the shoes you know two sellers two different sellers 
Ah, wait, let me get you. Yeah. There's a height comparison. The bread ones are higher yeah, than the Royals, and they're both size 10, guys. And let me go to the other pair, both left side corner right there. See? That's the Royal, the breads. So the height comparison is, you know, different. I mean, you know, they're both, you know, UA pair. Uh, I don't know uh, which batch they are, so I'm not so sure. I'm not, I'm not 100%. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm not sure. Like I said, no edit. <laughs> Just straight review, guys. Here we go. See? See the difference? It makes this look like a mid-cut. But that's actually the, uh, the correct... Uh, height uh, you will notice over here that's the one that you will notice this one is not much and this one got a lot of gap of space see oh yeah that's why the shoes is so high but uh, the shape um, this one the toe box uh, it's okay but it's not really that rounded that you know they're supposed to be flat slanted and the Royals there's some slant to it, but not, I mean, you know, not much. But uh, I think this is supposed to be the, you know, the shape. Not so sure, guys, you know, because they bought UA correctly. If I'm wrong, probably the bread must got it correctly, you know, when it comes to the toe box. And also the swoosh. This one is different too. So thick, you know, on the bread. Look how thick is that, man. It's not supposed to be that thick, but they cut that thing too thick. See that? And on the Royals, it's not. It's just the right thickness of the swoosh. And uh, what else did I see different of the shoe? Uh, I mean, the back already showed it. Uh, stitching and everything are, are okay or provoked. You know, the box, you got two stitches two stitches and the front they're both not have that beautiful Nike Air tag and this guy too Nike Air tag I think this one is yeah this is the correct one you know it needs to be a little smaller of the, the what do you call these the, this uh, material this nylon nylon mesh nylon mesh this one is kind of bigger but uh, when you wear it on feet, they're not noticeable at all. You yeah, see the both pairs, both toe box, like that. And the holes, uh, it's bigger on the uh, on the blue ones than the red ones. And you, I notice also, um, you know, when you look, you know, very close, you'll see white. It's not supposed to be white, it's supposed to be dark or black. This one, that's the correct one, the black one. The price, I mean, the price that I pay for both are close, you know, it's not that far away. So, probably I get a lo the lower batch on the bread ones and higher batch on the blue ones. And of course, I'm gonna go back at that seller, the higher batch, you know. It's a give and take, you know, when you go to DHgate website, it's a risk. So, you really have to communicate with the seller, you know, message first before you buy the shoe. Don't just buy the shoes right away because, uh, I mean, you know, they can they can do it, you know, what they want to do, the seller. Like, they can send you a crappy quality because you pretty much just buy the shoe. You didn't you didn't even bother messaging them or asking for a quality check or you know want, or ask for the pictures of the product. So before you guys buy, message a seller and ask for some pictures, in the actual shoes, you know, so you guys can see the product that they're selling. Because uh, the one that they um, post on their website. That's just pretty much their just advertisement, you know, like that's a different shoe. That's not really the actual shoe. So ask first before you guys buy. That's my advice. Um, again, don't ask me for the seller's name. I'm not going to say, you know, it's a YouTube policy. You can't say where you guys buy the shoe, especially when it's replica shoes or UA. That's their policy. Reviewing it, it's fine. But promoting it to let someone uh, go to the, you know, website and buy it. I don't recommend 
do it's on your own risk guys it's your own risk your own money if you're happy go for it if you're authentic head i understand that too so yeah both parties are happy that's supposed to be you know no hate all right guys uh, thank you for watching uh like comment subscribe hopefully you guys uh, like my review of these uh, two uh, beautiful shoes the two original shoes the ogs all right peace